Okay, I've got it all set up at a friend's house. We're doing this open studio. There are, are pop-up studios all over the South Bay today and next weekend. And uh, this is something that happens right here, Silicon Valley Open Studios. And so this is my booth set up at a friend's house. She is also an artist and does quilt and fabric work along with painting and she's just an amazing creative. She's the one who got me into painting in the first place. She heard me say, someday I want to, and she said, well then let's do it now. And, uh, and she started it all. I am so grateful to her. So in any case, you come in and you see, let me back up again. So when you come in, you see the card rack to the right. You can spin that. I have lots of different varieties of cards. You come over here on this gallery wall, a number of paintings of various sizes. Back here are most of my large paintings. And it really is like a, a gallery. I mean, that's the whole point of a studio show and sale. And uh, you can stand here and ponder some of the paintings and say, I know exactly where I want to put that in my house. I love what it makes me feel. I love the environment. A lot of these are local paintings to Half Moon Bay where I did plein air. And of course, most of the people walking through here will be locals. And so something may strike a fancy in them and say, this is what I wanted one in my house. And then you come around and there's yet another wall of images come down to the table where I'll be working here editing this video likely along uh, with others throughout the day and then there's a calendar some handcrafted uh, thank you card sets and then prints for those that would like some of the images but really don't want to spend that kind of money on an original which I completely understand I am so humbled whenever anybody buys anything, so it's pretty amazing. Let me go in and share with you a little bit of Laura's work. It's beautiful, and maybe she'll let me introduce you to her. Okay, Laura has her work set up inside. Right now she's showing her quilting and fabric collage work. During the pandemic in particular, she just went crazy making quilts all the time. But she's been doing this for years, uh, the fabric collages. And she also, as I said, paints and just does any, any so much type of art. It's just amazing. Cold wax and oils and different things. So great friend and great encourager and that's one of her greatest gifts she's an encourager and she has just totally encouraged me so here she is this is laura and uh i'm gonna stop this for a moment and turn the mic around all right so this is laura laura how long do you think you have been doing art uh more on a professional developer coach teacher level because you do all of that 16 years 16 i thought yeah. it was big longer than that well i first started painting when my son was a baby and okay. he's 33 but i didn't really get into it until i moved to half moon bay which was 16 years ago okay yeah well obviously we showed your quilt work and your fabric collage what other types of mediums do you really enjoy doing i paint in watercolor acrylic and oil. I've just started in oil and then I do cold wax. I really love cold wax. Okay. My goal is to master cold wax and oil. Nice. Yeah. But I, I love painting in watercolor too. So. Well, I'm going to turn this just sure. a little bit. So the way I got into starting to paint is, as I've already said, through your encouragement. But it was through a night that you just invite people over and you call it what? Bad art night. Bad art night. So yeah. it's Friday night ban. Yeah. Bad art night. <laughs> Why do you call it bad art night? Well, the idea originally, and it, it, it originated with other people. I didn't invent this, so it's going on in many other locations. Uh, but some friends of mine in Minnesota do it every Friday night. And John Spade said, the idea of bad art night is to start making something and then just deliberately kind of destroy it 
like do something you wouldn't ordinarily do. Like if you don't like painting with black paint and you're doing a beautiful watercolor, start painting in black on it and purposefully try to, you know, go in a different direction. So that's where the concept of bad art night came. It's really hard for people to do that. Yeah. I get it. But I personally have uh, found new avenues through. Well, that's a great you know, concept of exper experimentation. That's not actually what I thought it was all these years that I've been doing it. I thought the idea was is you just come without any expectation that anything has to be good or perfect. If you come expecting that you're going to make bad art, then you're you're just playing and experimenting, which is that too. That's yeah. a little broader, but similar yeah. to what you said that is you too. just try and you experiment without any built up expectations that every time I do something it's got to be a masterpiece. Yeah. Yeah, and I will say, you know, in the past 2 years since COVID and we haven't really been able to do battery yeah. night. It doesn't really work through Zoom. No. Really the big component for me is it's about the the peer relationships and getting everybody together, having some tea, uh seeing what other people are working on. Sometimes we work on a group project together. Um it's just the camaraderie is I miss it so much. Yeah. I'm yeah. so anxious for the I do to get too. Back to I can't normal. wait till we can start doing it again. Yeah. We can physically distance in your house. Yes. <laughs> I, I think most of us are vaccinated, so we can make something we work. We have visitors. We do. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, so we've already got some off. people coming to see the studio. Yeah. I think this is a good point to sign off. Thanks Great. for watching. Thanks. Bye bye. Well, thank you for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it and that you will um, just see what it takes to build a booth and set up an art show for a pop-up uh, event. And uh, go ahead and uh, like and subscribe if you would. And in the comments, just let me know if you saw some pieces that you liked. Look at my website, lenbanks.com or um, Laura's website. I'm going to post in the description below as well if you want to see more of her fabric art and other items that she has available. Thank you so much for being here and uh, we'll see you on our next video.